Hello everybody and welcome back to my Kislev Let's Play playing as Tsarina Katarin on Legendary Difficulty with Very Hard Battle Difficulty, both of which are the hardest of course. My name is Hero of Warfare and I'm a history teacher so I'll refer to you guys as my students of Eradicate Warfare. Them. So last time I attacked this settlement just to get the game to save. And last time we completed, completed the Tsinchin Soul, so now we have all four. And uh, next turn, I think I'm just gonna go straight for uh, for the end uh, battle against Bellacor. So I'm just gonna end the turn, I think. I'm gonna get him over there to safety. And let's see. This guy is sitting in there. She... It is my duty. Can maybe auto resolve this? Yeah. Smite Kislev's accursed foes. Thank you. Is not gallus. I switch. Three levels for you. Only I may wield it. And our new one else. This guy. Yeah, you should be able to take him out. Yeah. The motherland never falters. Leave them to start. Oh yeah. Yeah. So now you can't take. Um, you can't get rid of the uh, portals. I don't know why it disappears. The symbol appear. Uh, it's supposed to say like the, with the infinite symbol. And uh, <clears throat> I wonder if I should take this one for the um, final battle. Five percent extra melee attack. How good is that? These guys have 53, so that would be like two extra melee attack. I think the five extra melee defense is better. With this, sure. my rule is absolute. But yeah, I'm just gonna end the turn and you know be ready. So let's get into it. So this will most likely be the last episode for this campaign. And we will uh, see what we do next. Like I said last episode, probably I am going to, uh, to take a break from Warhammer 3. And play some State of Decay 2 maybe, or some uh, Teamfight Tactics from League of Legends. Or... Um, maybe some other games, I'm not sure. Maybe I want to play Days, Days Gone again, that's a really good game. Yeah, I, I like zombie games, especially ones that either have a great story, like Days Gone does. Or, which is more of a sandbox, open world, where you can like do whatever you want, basically. Uh, which is the case with, um, whatchamacallit, um, State of Decay. Okay, so I didn't get rid of the trait, did I? It... Yeah, it went down. Okay, good. So this isn't too bad. And yeah, role, having 60 and instead of 80 and 72 instead of 80, that's fine. Yeah, their stats are pretty ridiculous. Melee defense plus 6, missile strength plus 8%. And is it there? Yeah, ammunition, melee attack, and missile resistance. Yeah, pretty good. So I think we're just gonna get into it. Mistress of ice. Traverse towards the Forge of Souls. Yes, thank you. Ice 
And I guess we have to wait one turn. Okay. My I'm just gonna do this and the turn. <laughs> yep. Like, I feel like the normal Total War experience, aka, you know, conquering settlements, fighting battles, uh, like painting the map, so to speak, you know, just conquering and stuff like that. I feel like that doesn't really apply to this campaign here right now, at least. Uh, so, I guess I should have not focused on that um, at all, basically, and just got straight for the realms of souls, gotten all the four souls and taking this uh, last fight because that's the only thing they want you to do really so I hope they either release immortal empires very soon or or they um, at least um, at least make this campaign more fun in a way because right now <laughs> it's not very fun Gates open, whatever. <clears throat> Tarina, let's get into it. And here are some cinematics. Empires forged, demons slain. The realm of chaos endured and mastered. Time has come to fulfill the final part of the pact. The spirits imprisoned in the Tome of Fates now untether. They combine into a single light, casting a shadow as they journey to the forge. Where shadows fall, we shall step. A bridge revealed to the Forge of Souls. Bellacor is on the verge of Godhold, but he has not ascended yet. Destroy him and reclaim the remnants of Urson for the Motherland. Okay, so here is the last battle. It says Pyrrhic Victory. And uh, yeah, these are the same reinforcements that you can get from all of the other ones. And this is the final final force that you have to fight. So let's get into it. Let's see. Yeah, he has a lot of weapon strength, a lot of melee attack and melee defense, a lot of health. And... Uh, Damage resistance 40% for 30 seconds, okay. And Blade of Shadow, armor piercing weapon damage up to one, like, yeah, plus 100%, so you can get it up to 1500. And extra 40 melee attack, so that's very strong. Yeah, let's get into it. So, um, the best army I could have brought there is probably a, an army just of Warbear Riders plus these Lords and Heroes. But this is very strong as well. I think it will be just fine. Cross the Bridge of Shadows to reach the Forge of Souls, where you must confront and defeat Belagor. For ev even now, using the machinery of the Forge, he channels the remnants of Urson's power into himself. If he is not stopped, he will ascend. <coughs>
Okay. <coughs> Let's get into it, shall we? Yep, shoot them down. Mm, listen to that. Mm, delicious. Defenders of Geesland. Hearts of Ice. Yep, shoot the uh, pink horrors. Okay, get in there. Everybody was kung fu fighting. So this will give me... Or it will put a hex on the enemy. Minus 10 leadership, minus 25% armor. And this will give damage when under 50% and you're in melee. And extra vigor. And that gives damage resistance minus 15%. <coughs> Fast forward. Alright. So this one can be here, and this one can be there. And you guys in front. So build a couple of towers. And I suppose we can grab these. Yeah, position a bit more like that. You behind there. Yep, that should be good. Here comes the reinforcements. Follow the bear. And uh, since this is a survival battle, even if you guys die, so you can just bring them back from this as long as you have supplies. <coughs> Flamers need to go. Okay. Come on, get out. We have to go around and kill the flamers. They're gonna do a lot of damage if not. of Misha should do quite well here. Come on, go, 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 go. Kill the CNG units back here. Go after the pink horrors. And yeah, kind of anticlimactic with the sound being brr like that. Oh, 
Oh my god, we're getting so much supplies. So many supplies, holy crap. They just keep on coming. Gimme, 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 gimme supplies. Alright, that's the end of these guys. I think. Come on, Mr. <coughs> Demonic Wave, die. And let's go over here to heal my bears a little bit. Are they just never ending? Let's keep you off fire for now. Don't want you shooting my own guys. These towers, uh, they can shoot well, because they don't do friendly fire. Okay. Oh, it has opened up. Oh, okay. Um, can this guy go and capture it? I would think so. Obey, obey. Okay, let's see. There's a bit of a hill here, so I don't know if um, if these guys will get very good range or line of sight, rather. Which they need. Supplies just keep coming. Yeah, fast forward. <laughs> All right. No units unlocked. Yeah. Let's get them. So these four can stand here, and these four can stand there, and. These guys can be behind, like so. And yeah, you can come back, I suppose. And let's build. Okay, here's the kitchen. That was kind of cool, like how they just drop from the sky like that. Kind of like spiders. Spider grinders. There are still someone coming here. Oops, no, 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 no. Crap. Orcs and commands! Defend the 
Yeah, that's that's the problem with control groups if you misclick like that, like that. But still think they are better overall. What's this? Manticores. Okay. Yeah, I was like, huh, what's that? Because I don't think I've fought a Manticore in this campaign. I guess I can try. No, never mind. I don't want to risk them shooting my own guys. For the yeah, let's slow them down. More ammunition. Let's not get caught by these pink horrors and like letting them shoot us. So boom, 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 boom. Oh, a giant! Hello there. They're shooting my tower. How dare they! Yeah, my snow leopard died, and now it's back. Soul grinders. <clears throat> Kill all of these guys. Get. Get again. Can build a tower over there. And over there. And over there. Salted plague bearers and some pink horrors destroying my tower, but whatever. Okay, come back a little bit. Don't need my lords to tank. Boom. Chillin Chillin like a villain These guys have taken a fit uh, a fit a bit a fair bit of damage rather So I could heal them Sure why not Just take your time. Shoot those pink horrors, please. 
<clears throat> yeah, so my army should have ward save, but because of that, I don't have it. But uh, when I get it back, I will. Or when I take that rather. Pink horrors of siege. Let them heal more, I guess. And give this one more ammunition. Okay, the last one has opened up. But I have to go and kill the soul grinders. Let's heal these guys. Just keep on getting supplies. Yeah, kill them. Rawr. They're exhausted, on fire, poisoned, everything. Oh, this one has taken a fair bit of damage. Let's heal them some more. That one and that one. Okay, let's turn my ice card around and let them deal with it because I need to. Um, I need to use my bear riders together with my lord and heroes and go capture the last point. Need them to kill those soul grinders. So let's go. Yeah, these guys should get taken care of. Yeah, no one has died. Boom. They're a lot more accurate in uh, in this uh, defend or what's it called? Survival battle? Than uh, normal battles. Okay, let's go. Okay, I guess you need more ammunition. Come on, keep moving forward. Already have a tower there, I can build a tower there. But I have to 
gather some more supplies. Yeah, I'm not getting supplies for these guys. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Alright, let's get in there. So yeah, you go and kill him, you go and kill him. have used all their ammunition Capture the last point. And then I'm gonna make him come at me over there. the other tower I can build over there and let me get some more warby riders now you can see I have the war save back 8% And yeah, these guys are positioned correctly, good. Yeah, these guys almost have no... I didn't realize I was your majesty. Defenders on his left. Spawn of Nurgle. Okay. Uh, Bloodthirster maybe? Or what's attacking it? Doom Knights, okay. Two thousand seven hundred to replenish their ammunition. Well, don't need to replenish theirs. But still need two thousand one hundred. Regular chaos spawn, actually. They are so flavorless now that you have all the other ones. Yeah, it takes some time for him to come over here. I guess I can slow him down even more with this. 68 speed. Yeah, sure, why not? 
Let's get that tower. Boom, boom. Yeah, I think those three bears can defend on that flank. Need more need more supplies. Yeah, he's taking a fair bit of damage. Could slow down even more. Get slow down even more. 40 speed. And down to okay 40 still because the other one or the, the other effect went away. Lemao is going down so fast. And let's do this. Ah, come on, man. Let me put you. Okay, there. There you go. And let's use some magics. I guess these guys need a little bit of help. And let's get ourselves an elemental bear. Yep, come out there. And yeah, you can be positioned like that because everyone is coming in this side for some reason. Let's just help funnel them even more. Or God, my ass, huh? Easy peasy. There he is. Almost dead. Six hundred, five hundred. Boom, Bellacor who? Okay, nice. Let's grab. Um, yeah, let's give you some more ammunition. Move forward a little bit. Making them come at me in waves. I mean, they're already coming at me in waves, but really, you know, even more. Don't care if I lose these guys, since this is the last, this last battle of the campaign. Let's get you some more winds of magic. Go after that guy. Let's build a tower over there. Windy wind. Mm. 
Yeah, you go and kill them. I guess I can put you on fire at will. My unit has been wiped out, yeah, my warbear riders. But like I said, I don't care about that. Okay, let's get ourselves another bear. Yeah, and if I get enough supplies, I can even get them back at full strength. Probably should try to do that. Come on, get in there. Guess you are needed to turn around a little bit. Okay, get this bear boy. I guess he's needed over there. Yeah, these are the ones I actually have to kill. But they are very strong. All of them cost that. Okay, so one costs 1600. Get back in there. I need you right now. I need more supplies. Okay, I guess it's time to just send you in there. take him out? I don't know. They will help you out. Another one? No? They cost more because of their chevrons I think. Oh my god, the sound is Really annoying. And let's give her some extra hell, uh, damage rather. And this and that. Yeah, get in there. Come on. Good, get me some extra. Warbear Riders. Go and help. Get in there. Okay, she is going to die. It's fine, she is immortal. Um, 
Yeah, sure. And this. Get in there. Another Warbear Rider. Need to go and help out over there. I think we're getting them. Well, one more wins. Oh, I'm completely out. There we go. And now go and help with this one. Six percent left of the wave. That should just be these guys. Maybe there's someone hiding. I don't know. Come on, die, little one. There you go. It says there's still five percent left. Where? I guess we gotta go and find out. Mm, I've heard that there are sometimes units like hidden kind of. She is expensive. Okay, I can't see anyone. of Nurgle is left apparently. Where though? I can't see them anywhere. Where the fuck are they? Oh, there, there is one. Yeah, that's that's bugged. That is a bug. He was invisible or something. Now where's the other one? It says there's supposed to be two. Oh my god, I'm gaining supplies so slowly right now. Ah, there's the other one. Okay. Let's see if we can get her back. Excuse me. 
Okay, it's him. <laughs> How did he jump from there to there? What the fuck? Ah, let's just grab one of these. Come on, help. There we go. There we go. Victory. Revel in victory, for you have dethroned an ascendant godling. Belakor will be cast back into the shadows, and the prize awaits you in the lower levels of the forge. Not that difficult fight, actually. Almost 8k, and it took me 51 minutes. Oh my god. So yeah, I lost a couple of my uh, war bears from my original armies, um, army rather, and uh, Avenge Elsa got wounded, but yeah, she she will come back. But this is the end of the campaign anyway, so I didn't really care. Like if if uh, all we had left after this battle was just one unit, I wouldn't care. <laughs> So yeah, Belagor, how does it feel? Oh my god, look at all this crap. 5,422 lost. To the mines with them. A battle to draw the gaze of the gods. All breathe a sigh of relief, for Belakor is vanquished. Godhood is lost. As was foretold, shackled within the depths of the forge was the body of Urson, the once mighty god of Kislev. A queen stands before her lifeless god. Vengeance cannot fill the void left by his passing. Orson, we did all we could. I am sorry. Kislev will fall. Stirs. The face of a queen sparks new fire within his still heart. With Urson's roar, Kislev is restored. The crops shall grow, the beasts will fatten, and the motherland will prosper once again. One drop of Urson's blood was enough to break my curse. The taint purged from the Tome of Fates. Now it is mine to command. A pure white crow, the lone witness to my ascension. Come, little one. What fate awaits us? Victory. Belakor has been defeated. Forced back to shadow, the curse he so despises has worked so hard to break, has been gleefully reinstated by Tsinch. But the changer of ways isn't done with the first demon prince yet. He makes Belakor a final offer, a way to manifest his physical body once more. Eager to grasp any advantage he can, the Dark Master agrees. He above all beings should have known that no deal with the great deceiver would be so simple. 
Bellacor, temporarily at least, has got his body back. But to his bitter rage, the terms of the agreement soon became clear. He must serve the very foe that defeated him. He must serve you. And yeah, Northern Nicator, Oblast Overlord, Legendary Strategist. You can check out those afterwards. So yeah, was it like 200 turns <laughs> to, to do this? I usually never do that. Or I have done it a few times in the past with Mortal Empires, but that was usually to like paint the map. Uh, and that was a lot more auto resolving. Uh, but yeah. Why? Why is it like this? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, here you can see what I could see, I guess. So yeah, here you can see my empire growing and that of the other ones. I definitely made some mistakes this campaign, that's to be sure, but but to my defense I was, you know, I was fighting with a, a different mindset, the mindset of Warhammer 2, the Mortal Empires basically, uh, and all of the new stuff that didn't involve the realms of chaos, that I feel like I learned pretty fast. But the Realms of Chaos stuff, that, yeah, I don't think it's a fun or interactive campaign mechanic at all. Uh, so I hope they get rid of it or make it more fun. Uh, but for now, this is at least the first campaign done. I will maybe come back. Uh, I said I would play Scarbrand next. And uh, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. But I'm going to take a little bit of a break from Warhammer 3. Since it's been a little bit disappointing, uh, like there's so there's a lot of stuff I love about it. There's some stuff I like about it, and there's some stuff I hate about it. So I hope they can really, you know, iron out the kinks and make it the great game that the potential has. And I think maybe, you know, six to twelve months from now, I think it's gonna be an awesome game. I, I know that this game has the potential of being a 10 out of 10, so I hope we get there in the not too distant future. And let's see, before I sign off, let's see what we get there, Mr. Bellacor. So this Bellacor. is... Yep, yeah, that is your name. So this is what we get. B, we get Bellacor. So... I've heard that people say his skill tree is kind of shit and I can see right away that he doesn't have a red line for some reason. And his special things are... Okay, minus 40 melee attack for an enemy. That one everyone has, so that's nothing special. And yeah, that's the one he had. And heal per second, power recharge. Effect intensity increased by each enemy unit in range with the morale wavering or lower. Okay. I guess that's cool and all, but yeah. And he's got shadow magic. But yeah. And he's got that. But yeah, he doesn't look all that impressive. I mean, his um, aesthetics, that's fine. I like how he looks. But yeah, his skill tree is kind of underwhelming. I become the Dark Master. What? Onward! Mast faced. 
You're about to find out how I became tyrant of tyrants. Yeah, so apparently all of the other ones still has all the souls and I don't know if they can still do the victory. I don't know. The first but yeah, that is it for me on this campaign. Uh, if you have watched all of the episodes until this very point, I applaud you. Very well done. Uh, this was my first let's play on this channel. Uh, so I have a lot to learn and I am going to try and do better as we go forward. And uh, I hope you will stay with me and watch some of my other games uh, or some of the other games that I will play. And I uh, hope you will join me in the future because I am going to play a lot more of Warhammer 3 in the future I imagine. So yeah, I really appreciate every single one of you and uh, we'll see you on the next video. So class dismissed and have a great day. Goodbye.